Hello my lovely learners, this is Krishnaraj and in this video we are going to learn about how to share OAuth access token in Postman with other API endpoints. When we think of testing of our APIs, the first tool that will come to our mind is a Postman. Postman offers so many features and in today's video we will explore one small but very important feature which is how to share the generated OAuth access token with other APIs in their request header for authentication and authorization purpose. Now APIs use authentication to authenticating the sender of a request and confirming that they have permission to access the relevant data. Now here for the demonstration purpose, I am using the MindShift APIs which I have implemented in my web application. So this access token endpoint will return the OAuth access token. So now here I have set all the required parameters like client ID and secret keys in the request header. So let's execute this API and we get the API response. Now here is the access token which we are going to use this in this particular API. So basically we are going to use this access token as bearer token in the authorization header of this API so that this API will return the related eligibility data. Now I have seen many developers who are manually setting this access token like in the request header they will type authorization and here they will write bearer and our access token but there is no need to do this type of manual work now let's say if I have unchecked this authorization header and if I am trying to execute this API then I will get this invalid access token error. So now the question is how to automate this process? How we can share this access token with this API without doing this manual work? So now let's see this step by step how you can achieve it. So the first thing here we will do is first let's save this API. So let me click on this save button. So now let me select this collection and then let's create a new folder say demo API and let's give it the name. So in this folder we have saved this access token API. So now we want to share this access token with this API. So first thing we need to do is we have to configure the OAuth access token in the Postman. So for that select this demo API folder. Now within this authorization tab here you can see the authorization method type and in this drop down select OAuth2 option and then the next step you need to do is define the access token key in which we are going to set the generated access token. So we need to give that access token key name in this text box. So to give that name, you need to follow this particular standard. So it will start with two curly braces and then write your key name. Now here you can see the sync token button. Now the usage of this button is if you want to sync this particular oath token with the Postman cloud, then you need to click on this button, which is ask you to whether you want to sync, the, sync this token with the Postman cloud or not. In our case, we will not require it. So let's not click on that button. Now here we have defined the key, but if I hover over it, then you can see that we have not declared this variable. So the next step we are going to do is we will declare this key into this variable section. So let's write that key name. Let me remove this curly braces and let's keep the initial value and current value as blank 
and let's save this configuration. So now we have defined this key, but the question is how we will set this key value with this access token. So to set this access token into our defined key, we need to go into this test section of this get access token API and within this test object, we are going to access this response using the PM object. So in the postman, you will carry out most of the JavaScript API functionality using this PM object, which provide access to request and response data and variables. In our case, to get the API response, we will use PM dot response object. Now, this response object is in the JSON format. So we will convert it into the JSON using this method. And then we will set this JSON response into this variable. And then our next step is we are going to access this key and we will set it into the collection variable. So for that, either you can write like this. Or in the right hand side, Postman is providing us the snippet code link to set a global variable, to set environment variable, and here to set a collection variable. So let me remove this and let's click on this link, set a collection variable. So here we will set our key which we have defined in this folder. So let me copy this key name and set it over here and then let us set this key name over here to get this token value so for that we are going to write like this so now we are ready to get the access token and set it into this defined key so once again let's execute this api so this time we get this access token and now let's go to this folder and let's see this variable section. So here you can see that the postman has set the newly generated access token in this current value section. So now let's go to this our second API in which we are going to use this token but without setting it manually. So now before executing this API, first go to this authorization tab and check this option. This option should be inherit auth from parent because we have set the authorization configuration into this parent folder. So in our case, this option is already set. So no need to do anything. And now this time, if I execute this API, then I am successfully getting the API response. So this is a very powerful feature of Postman to configure and share the OAuth access token with the other API endpoints. So that's it from today's video. Hope this video helps in your day-to-day -day API testing using Postman. Thank you very much. Please take care of yourself and I will see you soon.